I would say a little bit of both. Sometimes I, uh, like sometimes they'll ha- even tell you to like fake an orgasm or something. Mm-hmm. Or some shoots will say, hey, have a real org- orgasm. So it, it just really depends what they want, you know. Does it, off- does it happen <laughs> often where a guy cannot ejaculate and you're stuck on set? Well, the so I shoot, yeah, for the website stuff, like the uh, really popular, they usually have guys that, I guess, know what they're doing. Um, but I've done like a few like smaller production stuff. And I really am trying to think, I... I really haven't had that many. And if it was, they were just like nervous or yeah, most guys are, you know, pretty good. Okay. That story was bull crap that I read. <laughs> what was it? What was no, the They story? were just saying like a problems that happen. On, that's one of the problems that could happen. Like everyone wants to go home to set and they're being held up because of that. Well, reason. I mean, not like it's like that bad. Like, you know, Okay. I mean, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it happens, you know? Yeah. People get nervous. True. Something. <laughs> what do you say to people when they say porn is demeaning to women? I mean, I I don't even think of it as demeaning at all. I mean, I I really enjoy it, and I mean, it just like I never think of it as a bad thing. It's just it's like you're having sex, and I want to be having sex. And I enjoy it, so that's not demeaning at all. I mean, I guess the, if there was a girl that, like, was being forced to do it or something, but I don't think yeah. it's demeaning. I mean, it's consensual. <laughs> Maybe they were raised Catholic. Uh, are you religious at all? No, I'm not religious. Maybe. That's the guilt that they have with um, them. Well, yeah, maybe. That might be what it is. They really need to stop uh, that then. <laughs> I mean, I just don't... I. I mean... Nothing you do is wrong. I mean, unless it's like, you know, killing somebody or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of different. What would you say to people that say porn is giving men an unrealistic view of sex? I'm trying to think. I mean, I myself am pretty open, like blowjob. Like, I'm like open, but I've heard a lot of stories where girls like don't like getting blowjobs and they won't. So they're, I mean... It depends what kind of girl you're with, you know. <laughs> Some girls might not like giving blowjobs, and but you just gotta find I, someone who, yeah. with the same interests. I mean, yeah, I mean, if a girl doesn't give you a blowjob, you don't like it, then don't, just break up with her. There's girls out there that are definitely into everything. It just some girls they're not. <laughs> In Portland, you're probably more likely to find the kinkier girl. Yeah, well, it's fun. I've actually I've had like a few like uh, threesomes and. There's been a few girls I met, and, like, they really just don't... They said they didn't like blowjobs either. I'm like, I don't know why it's my favorite, but some girls don't like it. It's weird to me, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel sorry for those guys, but... What else <laughs> yeah. would you be doing if not for this, if not adult work? Um. Well, I mean, I on this, I do so many different things. Mm-hmm. Um on the non-adult side of my myself uh i do i do caregiving which is uh funny Mm -hmm. and then um yeah caregiving and then i also do personal chef stuff and yeah i mean yeah (laughs) was there any like dirty old men when you're doing caregiving no it's mostly it's been women okay it's a lot of women like their husband or something and they need help like cooking for mm-hmm. them or i've never met any a lot of men i think i don't, I don't know <laughs> but no i have not met any dirty old men <laughs> what's the most awkward moment you've ever had on set hmm i don't know oh well, i guess uh my first anal shoot i like didn't know what to do like how to clean properly and nobody like really told me so you know how that goes i just didn't clean properly and uh it wasn't very pleasant, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but now that's, yeah, it's like, you need to tell, like, girls if they never, I mean, that was, like, probably my second or third time doing anal, and I didn't know what I was doing, so it's like, you need to let people know. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> there was no uh, accidents with any blowjob scenes? How so? 
like acting with a blowjob? Like, uh, oh, like what? Throwing up or? Oh no, I've never thrown up before. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, nothing really. <laughs> I mean, in my personal life, I guess uh, not important. A personal life before some girl was fingering me, and then I started bleeding. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Well, how experienced? How old were you when you first gave oral sex? Uh, well, I mean, it's funny because I was only, I think I was, my first blowjob when I was uh, seventeen or eighteen. Mm-hmm. So, it was I was pretty old because I know some people like have give their blo- first blowjob when they're like twelve or thirteen, but I don't know. I was raised up pretty like strictly, so I was kind of like, yeah. But I masturbated a lot. <laughs> Did that make you more curious and may have led you into the adult industry? What? The fact that you were until 17, like just like pretty st- with strict parents and things like that. I really don't know. I think I was always pretty sexual because I would like masturbate all the time. Mm-hmm. But I never like thought that I would do- be doing porn. Like I never thought of doing it because I thought like normal people couldn't do it. For some reason, when I was that age, I was like, who does that? Who is, who is that? Uh-huh. It's not normal people. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'll explain that. <laughs> what are some assumptions people have made about you just because you do porn? Um, I guess maybe that I just want to have sex on the, all the time, mm-hmm. which isn't true because I'm not like, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's like the only thing I can think of. Uh. Yeah, I've never really had any. The only thing recently negative that I've had happen, like where I actually felt bad about doing what I was doing, kind of, was you know there's all those new laws that were passed, and I um I was doing like cuddling. There's this cuddle site. It's called a. Uh, I'm not. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it or not. It's called uh, Cuddle Comfort, and uh, I was just on there for fun. Yeah. And, uh, they just, I was on there probably for like six months, but they just recently, like, uh, if you have any association with adult work or anything, they'll, they don't want you on there. So like, I was like, what the heck? Like, I'm not on here to like provide sexual service. I don't do escorting or any of that stuff. Yeah. So, um, and they just kicked me off. I'm like, I was just cuddling with people, you know? So that kind of made me mad because I'm like, you can't just associate like you can't just because i did por- do or do porn yeah doesn't mean like yeah it just kind of pissed me off that was on meetup no it's called cuddle comfort okay and it's a uh, you know just cut it's such an interesting thing it's you cuddle and you have your clothes on yeah and you just cuddle and they don't have anybody associated with uh adult work on there so they kicked me off so i was like that doesn't seem I was fair kinda mad <laughs> they can't just make that it was like a new rule on there. I'm like, they just, I'm like, what the heck? No, that's like the only thing that I was like kind of pissed off about. Cause I'm like, it's not something bad. Like, yeah. If someone was deciding they wanted to go into the adult industry, would you say that it's a good idea? And what advice would you give them? I mean, one of my friends, I've told her about, you know, doing it and she still hasn't done it, but I mean, you get to make your own schedule. You got to tr- you get to travel a decent amount. Um, I mean, the pay is good. Mm-hmm. You get to. I I think I used to be really like uh, shy and uh, I didn't really. I was like, oh, I hate everybody, blah blah. But I've gotten to meet like I've gotten to meet like a lot of people and uh, talk to them and kind of like I'm better at talking with people than I was before and meet a lot of cool people actually. So. Yeah, same thing with this podcast. Met a lot yeah. of cool people. I know. I love podcasts. Whoever come up with it came up with podcasts is smart. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, how old were you when you first tried cannabis? Um, I think probably I think it was like thirteen. And I honestly I didn't even I smoked like a little bit of it and I like just threw it out the window. Because mm-hmm. I didn't so I didn't really smoke it and feel anything. But I think that's the first time I smoked it, though. Is cannabis use prevalent in the, like, heavily prevalent in the porn industry? I noticed on a lot of, I think Snapchats, you'll see them dabbing and things like that. Oh, no, I mean, no shoots I've done have been smoking related. 
Hmm. Are you a smoker, like regular? Or I used to be. I used to dab and do all that stuff. And honestly, I just, yeah, I just don't. I smoke like once a week now. How often do you used to? I would smoke like every night. So how did you just stop? I don't know. I just started getting like really anxious and I just started to take a break <laughs> from it. Wasn't but, hard for you at all to quit? No, it's not. Maybe because you're traveling or something? <laughs> no, it just, it's not like never something had a hold that on like you. was that exciting. I mean, it, I feel like when I smoke, it's just not like, it doesn't change much. I don't know. Some people it does though, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Do you play video games at all? Oh, I played like, I th- I w- we have a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation 4 and I played Dirt. I think it's dirt. I don't even know what number dirt two or three mm-hmm. on the PlayStation three. And then I got like the UFC, UFC PlayStation game. Yeah. Played that for a little bit. Um, I played call of duty in the past, but I'm pretty, I'm, I, I'm really, it's hard for me to sit still. So I'm not much of a sit down and play video games all day kind of person. So mm-hmm. I, yeah, I'm more of a walk around Portland and explore kind of person. <laughs> What have you seen in Portland that like really caught your fancy? Mm. I'm trying. To th- I really don't know. I just uh, I like walk. Like I live downtown, so I'll just if I have nothing to do or whatever, I'll just go around and walk down the waterfront or just wherever. If I found like a new coffee place I want to try, I'll like walk there. I don't know. I just I just tried. Uh, what is it? Nola Donuts. Have yeah. you ever tried that place? No. It's like donuts, but it's a, a mix between donuts and uh, croissants. Nice. I it's, love cronuts. Uh, is that what they're called, probably? Yeah. Have you tried those, a cronut before? New York pioneered it because they have all these oh, fancy really? bake shops. Yeah. Oh, I've never tried it until... But it's... Yeah, it's downtown. That place is pretty cool. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... I'm open to whatever. Mm-hmm. I walk wherever. <laughs> what is exciting to you right now? What? Um, in what way? Um, I don't know. Like just uh, mm. w- like what's what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I'm really into working out right now. So I don't know if anybody's familiar with Orange Theory, but they're opening a lot of oh them, yeah, opening a lot of them up in the city. And uh, my next episode, she went to Orange Theory. So oh really? <laughs> yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, she's an esthetician. Oh, okay. She lives downtown. It's like a big thing and like, it's freaking awesome. Like I'm not, I like, I used to do hot yoga Yeah. and then I still do yoga on the side at my place or whatever, but. You ever try aerial yoga? No, I've been wanting so to try good. it. Yeah. You come with me. Is there it's, a place you go? There, there's a place called Circus Project. They have a <gasps> group on and there's also oh another one. I want to go so it's bad. It's the best. It's better than regular yoga. Yeah. less gravity so it's funner and easier yeah it's like on my list to like do like number one because but yeah i like go to orange Theory almost every day how many splat points is your record my record i think i've got just like two days ago i got i think it was 35 uh-huh yeah but well it shows you were looking good so. <laughs> thanks <laughs> yeah, no problem um <laughs> what are like the best thing that happened to you last year Mm, that's an interesting question. Uh, I don't know. I guess the best thing that happened to me last year is uh, my sister moved here. Nice. And uh, both my dad and my sister have been sober for a few years. So, mm-hmm. woohoo. <laughs> but yeah, it, most of my family's, like, my mom's the last one left where she lives and she might be moving here soon. So. I'm excited about that. <laughs> that is cool. Should be fun. Do you prefer reading or writing? Reading, I, I would say. Yeah, you, I'm definitely a reader. Have you read any good books lately? Oh, gosh. I've been reading. What did I just pick up? Uh, gosh, it's by Osho. It's yoga. I cannot remember the name of it, though. Yoga. Yoga is something by that Osho guy. That, uh, Yeah. So you like to read like nonfiction kind of helping books, things like that? I'll, I'll read helping books and I also read like, what was another one? There was another uh, book by Tom DeLonge. I'm so bad with like remembering his names of stuff. 
Uh, there's this book by Tom DeLonge that he wrote. Do you know what it's called? Oh, I don't. damn it. But I just, I, I've read about half of that. But yeah, a lot of stuff about like, uh, you see UFOs sometimes and tongue. God's Man in War. Was that? No, it it's a big book. Strange Times, Secret Machines. Oh, Secret Machines. Yeah, that one's, it's a pretty big book too. It's huge. What is that about? I've only gone like maybe a fourth way into it, but it's about, I'm trying to remember. It's just about the government and like what he thinks is happening and the ufo stuff <laughs> uh, do you believe in aliens i believe that they're out there for sure just i don't know if uh the government or whatever actually has like proof or like they're actually like they've actually landed here i i, I don't know you know yeah. but i know they're out there there's so many universes and there just has to be somebody else out there you know yeah i mean <laughs> Did you ever have nightmares when you were a kid that there was like little aliens at the foot of your bed? No, did you? Yeah, and they oh paralyzed me. Oh my god, <laughs> maybe you got abducted when you were a kid. No. You don't know because you, you I don't never know. know. I mean, all the sleep paralysis pretty much ended after that, after oh my, my fear of aliens went away. Oh my god. I never really thought about aliens when I was a child. I didn't even really, yeah. You're so lucky. I don't even think I need thought about them at all like knew they even existed your parents probably never exposed it to you no because i mean they were so the, yeah they're that's that's good that they're strict then. <laughs> <laughs> your parents what did they my did dad they would do? play like horror movies like, oh see my my mom was so strict she wouldn't even let me watch that titanic when i was like 12 so okay <laughs> yeah, yeah she's true. like no the none of these tv shows or yeah she would never let me watch that stuff mm-hmm. <laughs> How did you and your ex meet? I mean, how did you and your, your current partner yeah, meet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've known each other since high school. And we got together right out of high school. So, But I had, it's so funny. I had a crush on him. Uh, we went to middle school together, too. But I had a crush on him since I was in seventh or eighth grade. Then I got together with him in, after high school. Has he always been a non-jealous person? Well, no. I mean, the first time... Well, when we got together, he's he was like, use toys or you watch porn. So he was like totally against that stuff. And now it's like totally opposite just because he was like so close minded and he didn't know about it. So you cropped him. <laughs> well, I mean, he was only like 17 or 18. So but yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> <laughs> but you were also just not not like that into it at that point either. I, I wasn't. Yeah. But you were we more were young. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, what's your favorite music? Uh, my favorite music, I don't know. I'm just, the only things I don't really listen to, I guess, would be like classical music. I don't know. I'll even listen to classical. <sighs> but anyways, uh, hip hop, probably listen to like Mac Miller. I was listening to Run the Jewels today. Uh, I'll listen to. I listen to like everything really. That's I'm just kind of into that kind of music right now. <laughs> What's the farthest distance you've been out of the country? Not that far. I've been to Mexico. I've been to Canada. Um, I've been to the Caribbean islands. Uh, but that's. If you could travel, where would you go? Well, I'm going to Amsterdam in a month. Nice. So definitely go. Want to go there? Um, where else? I think it'd be cool. I don't. I mean, I don't know if it would be that fun to go to Egypt, but I would kind of want to see the pyramids there, mm-hmm. even though I've heard they're kind of like destroyed by people because they're dirty. <laughs> um, but uh, Great Wall of China. Yeah, j- j- actually, j- Japan or China would be really cool because I like that kind of like, I like all that like Asian candy and all the like, they have these cool like fish waffle cone kind of things. Those are cool. Oh, yeah, like stuff like that. My, my last yeah. guests gave me that. It's funny. What, do you not want it? No, I loved it. Okay. I mean, it tasted like Smarties candy, actually. Yeah, 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 those are good. Yeah, I like Asian candy like that. I'm a big candy person. <laughs> What's your favorite candy? Um, or chocolate bar girl? Like uh, Snickers, Milky Way? No, I like the, like, I don't eat any of the, like, mash-produced stuff. I eat, like... <laughs> really? No. I mean, I like, the only thing I like, red vines. Nice. But I try to get, like, the natural kind of stuff. 
I don't know, I've been buying, like, they have natural Starbursts at the store that are, like, made out of natural ingredients. Nice. I don't know. I would get that. Yeah. <laughs> if you could only keep five possessions, what would they be? Why is that? Um, do two cats count as two things? Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, they are your possessions. Yeah. So my two cats, those are two things. Um... You say material possessions? Or, yeah. Um, or just possessions. Possessions. Well, I guess my boyfriend is not really. One. I mean, uh, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think. I guess maybe my yoga mat. Um, I guess you really don't need a yoga mat to be able to do yoga. <laughs> it makes it easier. It's so hard to like decide. It is. Um, I don't know. The car. I don't need a car. Phone. Don't need my phone. <laughs> Maybe um some candy and uh, my water bottle because you can't survive without water. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> oh wait, I I choose. I actually um I'm gonna take away uh, the yoga mat and say Hitachi. <laughs> I was gonna ask. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Uh, what's your favorite porn star? Hmm. I would have to. It's funny. I really stopped watching porn a lot. I like I watched it all the time before I started doing it, and I yeah. kind of stopped watching it. Like if working at an ice cream shop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but I don't know really any guys. I'm more into like girl girl porn. So there's this girl named Remy Lacro Lacroix. I've heard of her. I don't even know if she shoots anymore, honestly, because I haven't even. I'm not on Twitter anymore either, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, she's pretty cute. What are you most afraid of? Like anything? Yeah. Um, hmm. That's an interesting question. I guess I'm not really afraid of anything, because, I mean, if you die, you die, but. I guess I'm kind of scared of some random person just shooting me. I don't know. <laughs> it's a common thing. I wouldn't really know. I have no idea. I mean, it'd be pretty scary if, like, uh, the world froze over or something. <laughs> yeah. I really don't know. Do you ever get scared on planes or anything? Not No, not really. I mean, I kind of, I mean, I've been actually really, like, just thinking about, like, uh, like it, it, you could just like die the next day, like in a car accident or something. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what uh, feels like love to you? <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that because uh, love. I don't know. I guess it's just someone you can be yourself around, or like you. What is love? I mean. Some, I don't know how to explain what love would be. Like somebody you could be yourself around if you're in love, I guess. Mm hmm. <sighs> or don't like, you know. <laughs> Good question. Yeah. Do you have a. I don't know. I'd guess that if you. I don't know if mm -hmm. you can define the word itself, but I could say that. If you love someone, you love them unconditionally. Like that's what yeah, I, that's, well, yeah, that's the yeah. only thing I could say about it. I don't know. It's like hard to define the word itself. Yeah, there's a lot of words you could use. <laughs> yeah. I think. If you were president, what's the first thing you'd do? If I was a president, if I could, I would probably uh, universal income for everybody. Nice. Which I think is definitely much needed. And get rid of the homeless population would be... I mean, if universal income was a thing, I I feel like... What do you say to the you know, people that are against universal basic income? You're fucking stupid. <laughs> there was a, a one guest that was against it. They think that... Uh, well, other countries, like, I'm... What other countries... They Other countries have it, and I, I the ones that have it are, like, so happy, and I think it'd be... I mean, you never know. Do you think the USA should change their jail system to what the Swedish people have? Oh, yeah, for sure. Where they rehabilitate? Yeah. Well, and their, like, their homeless population is nil there, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's pretty small. 
Oh, we could learn a lot then. Yeah, I think so. I think Portland has some of the largest in the nation. I have to look at those numbers. Yeah, well, if you travel, like, I have friends that travel out of the United States, like London and Paris. There's, like, hardly any on the street. Or they at least have housing for them. I know. I mean, I go to New York City, and I don't see it as bad as around here, and I'm shocked by yeah, that. They like, have the housing, though. The they have a larger places. population. Yeah, they do. And they can take care of the homeless, but we can't. I'd like to know what's going on in Portland. Uh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. I mean, yeah, I have no idea. And it's like the only thing. Well, I used to think that that the they were just dying over on the East Coast because it was too cold. But now <laughs> but you're have, telling me they get housing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, because they wouldn't just let them die. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know the whole situation, but it's pretty bad here, and I hope they can do something about it. Yeah. Have you ever been into watching sports? Yeah, I watch uh, Trailblazers. They just won really good night. Did you watch? Do you watch Blazers? Not I did really. go to a Portland Trail Blazers versus the New York Knicks game since I'm from the New York. Oh, okay. Yeah, they just had a big win over the Warriors before the All-Star break, so that was pretty cool. And I guess they're adding a few of the games to um, – they originally weren't playing, like, on ESPN, and then since they're doing so good, they're going to have – they added two more games to ESPN. Yeah. But anyways, the Trail Blazers are cool to watch. I've, I've been to a Winterhawks game once. I want to go again. I just haven't gone. And then obviously Timbers been a Timbers game, and uh, you've heard about the basketball or the baseball thing. MLB PDX bring baseball to PDX. Is that, that? is that happening? I no. mean, they have they they uh, they have a site that they want to build it on, and uh, there's a the Portland Gear Store downtown. Um, opened up a MLB PDX clothing store, so you can get like. MLB PDX clothing and stuff like that. Very cool. Over by the Timbers um, Stadium. Yeah, apparently there's a Portland Diamond Project. And yeah, that's what it's called, yeah. They're going to build MLB Stadium at Terminal 2. Yeah, and who is it? Uh, Sierra and uh, what's her husband's name? He's on the Seahawks. You know who I'm talking about? There's a guy on the Seahawks and he's married to Sierra. And they're the ones that are like... Russell mm, Wilson. Yeah, yeah, I think they're the, they're the ones that are going to be uh, like funding it or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, he wants to see a riverfront stadium. Sounds cool. Yeah, but it's going to be all the way down um, uh, on NATO, but pretty far down there where, like, where all the um, the shipyards are. Okay. And I just feel like the transportation down there is going to be not very good. Um, they're probably not wanting to increase traffic, so they're putting it in, like, in that weird area. But I think the hospitals yeah. around there, which would suck. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. But we'll see. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you ever go to a Portland Timbers soccer game? Yeah, we went a few times last year. Those are so fun. Are uh, you also yeah. a Portland Thai food fan? I love Thai food. I just had Pad Siu last night. I think really? uh, I I used to be... Have you ever been to Thai chili? There's so many of them. I, right. Every time a guest comes in, I don't think anyone's ever repeated the same Well, no, because there's so <laughs> many. I mean, there's Thai chili jam on Burnside and yeah. then... Have you been there? No. 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 I, I don't really eat Thai that much, but I'm getting oh. enough suggestions to go. Um, And then there's a place right down the street from me I just kind of decided to go to. It's called Thai PK. Mm. So good. But yeah, Thai food is definitely a huge staple in Portland. <laughs> mm-hmm. what, would you have a favorite food? Oh, I like Angelina's Greek Heroes like right down on first oh, okay. by the train station on first mm. and, or the max. Mm-hmm. And I also like... Uh, this place called Charlie's Deli. It's a. I've heard about that place. It's okay. I mean, it's it's uh, good. It's just that it's not gonna feel good the next day. <laughs> and then um. That's so funny. Yeah. Uh, as far as pizza, I like mm-hmm. baby doll pizza. Okay. So I'm pretty picky because I'm like so used to New York food, but. Oh, have you ever had Roventes? I have. Is that? They're good if you get it by the slice, but if you get a pie, oh. I, I find that they change the recipe. It's weird. Oh, that's, I've never had their slices. That's like I had. think they give you cheaper cheese when you buy a large pie. It's a oh, weird conspiracy weird. I've come up with. But it, <laughs> I totally it tasted knows. different when I had the pie, and huh. I was like, "What's up with this? It tastes like a weird tanginess to the cheese." Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know, and I don't. I, I just wish Portland would have like more <laughs> stuff that I liked in New York, like delis, uh, mm-hmm. cheaper pizza places. They, this oh, thing yeah. called dollar slices in New York. Yeah, four dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. for. Hot lips slice. It's like, yeah, come on. <laughs> yep, I've been to New York. I know what you mean. 
and then the Chinese food is spectacular. I'm not going to go on Here? about New York. And, and, no, in New York. Oh, <laughs> I was like, there's I, not what, anyway. I China live in figure. Chinatown. It's pathetic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't want to, like, ugh. I'm in Chinatown, and, like, I look at the Yelp reviews. Everything's, like, three stars. I'm like, what the heck? Here? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't trust anything, like, in Chinatown down here. Yeah, you didn't. You uh, can't. Even, like, yeah, I mean, it's so hard. I I think some of the best Chinese food is out, like, uh, was it 82nd? And then kind of in Gresham. Okay. So there's some decent Chinese food out there, but you have to trek out all the way out there. But even, yeah, just the Chinese food here, I don't know if they put in it, but I, I swear every time I have it, which isn't very often, I feel like I get food poisoning every time. <laughs> I don't know what they put in it. It's like so weird. <laughs> that is. But anyways. And what age do you feel right now and why? What age do I feel? Yeah. I, I, I'm 28. I feel 28. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Does working out make you feel like younger? Or no. It doesn't make me feel younger. No. If you could witness any event of the past, present, future, what would that event be? Um, witness any. That's a hard one. Yeah. If you go to a, your favorite concert or something or a, a historical event that you just want to check out, see for yourself, see if it's true. Yeah. Uh, I guess maybe something to do with if it actually happened, like something to do with like when there was Roswell. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Maybe. I, I don't know if it was real. I don't know. It's like Area 51 or something. Or if I could like go to Area 51, that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's a present. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> what is a skill you'd like to learn and why? Mm, a skill I'd like to learn. I actually just starting having sushi a decent amount. And I, I tried to make sushi last night and I mm -hmm. feel like the rice was kind of sticky. So I want to like learn how to make sushi, sushi properly. But yeah. um, I really want to try aerial yoga. That's like been on my top. So I think Groupon, last I checked, they had a three classes for 20 bucks or yeah something. i've seen them I, I need to do it i just been so into orange theory i'm like and i have like i think i have like 10 classes of hot yoga i have to go to too so it's like i don't know how do you like that the hot yoga i i, I did the hot yoga for like six months so i started i really didn't work out and then i like i was like oh, i have to start, I have i need to start working out because i'm not like 18 anymore yeah so i started doing yoga then i started doing hot yoga and the hot yoga is pretty intense I mean, I think they, I, can't, I haven't been in a few, maybe a month or so, but there's like, they do like a standing series of postures and they do like a, a floor series of postures and then it's all in a like super hot room and you sweat your ass off and. Is it like yeah. the pictures on Groupon or is it just like. Well, I know there's a Groupon for one of the studios, but it's only like your first time you go. So you can't keep paying that price. Is it the people that go? Is it like in the mm -hmm. pictures where they're showing like some model, like the no. perfect picture? <laughs> no, <laughs> there's people not. all like, yeah. you know, it's, know it's reality. Like, does it smell yeah. a little bit when you get there? Is it, does it smell? Yeah. It's really not that bad. They really do a good job. I think. So there's ventilation. Yeah. That's good. How hot is it? Like, like uh, in a hot God, shower, 98 like 98 degrees. Like, like you're in a hot shower or something like that? I mean, it's really hot, and they ha add humidity, too. Okay. Oh, they add humidity. That's interesting. So, I mean, it's hot. You you're going to be sweating the whole time. Like, people, I don't sweat that much, but there's people that just, like, drip, like, the whole time, and their whole towel is soaked. So, it's like a steam room? Yeah, pretty okay. much. Well, I know, yeah, if you, I know that Joe, you know, Joe Rogan, he does a lot of hot yoga and stuff, and he's yeah. into the sauna stuff. It's, it's, I think the same benefits. Have you been to Everett Healing Center? Everett? Yeah. I've been to Everett and, uh, the one out on Alberta. Oh, that one's also a new one. Um, shoot. I forgot what it was called. That's also co-ed? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, shoot. But anyways, it's out there somewhere. I like that one better, uh, than Everett because it just, the, the layout's a little better. Yeah. I don't know. I've never, I don't know. You, yeah, find out. And, on my phone, uh, I'd look it up. Do you ever go to Salvia Island, Collins Beach, Nude Beach? Yeah, I think I I think I went last year once. But yeah, I've been there a few times. I don't think I went as much this year for some Oh, I was, well, yeah, because I was. 
Is it true that they are cracking down on like alcohol and just like pu- and pulling people over randomly and stuff like that? I heard. I've heard that. You probably haven't gone in a while then. Yeah. I, I haven't mean, either, so I wouldn't know. I heard that, but we don't. Yeah, I have. I mean, I have like one. I really don't drink during the day anymore. So. Have you ever? <laughs> Have you ever shot any porn that was made for VR yet? Yeah, I shot with um some girl named Lily Lily Cameron that doesn't shoot anymore, and uh, they actually closed her website, but I think some of the videos are still up. Um, but it was uh just me and another girl, so I was like getting my pussy licked, and I was looking down at her. Yeah. Uh, I think it was called Yanks dot com. Have you heard of that one? Uh, maybe. Anyways, it's just all girl, girl, like solo stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But yeah, you could probably, I haven't even watched it. I don't, I haven't even watched any VR porn. Uh, you yet. haven't tried VR yet? N- no. <laughs> it's, I have a PS4 uh, VR set. And oh, really? Resident Evil 7 oh. scared the crap out of me. Do you like oh scary God. stuff? Yeah, I'll watch scary, I'll do the like, scary games. That would games. scare you so hard. Like, oh, you gotta try that. <laughs> It's scarier than any scary movie like I've ever seen in my life. Like, cause you're in it, you're experiencing it. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if people like pee their pants when they're playing. Seriously, it's probably not that scary. No, like I'm watch sure some videos. It's scary, <laughs> I've screamed out loud. Like, the first <laughs> yeah, time. that's probably what I do too. It is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds kind of fun, actually. You're just killing people. Yeah, is that what pretty much? Or you get killed too. And when you get like. Mass, like you get stabbed it feels like you're getting it like it's great because you get like the knife right at well you. there's i can't remember what game it was on maybe it's call of duty but there was a a game you can play on call of duty where it's like zombies yeah and that just scared me like just like being like in front of the tv so i can't that imagine. would scare you so hard like, oh my god i think you'd like it but it'd be really scary yeah because <laughs> there's sound like in your ears and everything right yeah, I mean, you could use the headphones. I usually don't use the headphones. Because <laughs> I get too scared. Yeah. And the sounds that scare me. That's what scares me is the sounds. Yeah, the jump scares. Oh, gosh. Have you watched any good scary movies lately? Um, hmm. Oh, I mean, let's see. What's that new? There's a, that series on Hulu, Into the Dark. I just watched the one. I think it was called Down. Yeah. That was good. Hmm. It wasn't necessarily like scary. It was just they got they got trapped in the elevator and like one of them like was like actually a janitor and trapped her in there with him and they like were trying to kill each other and all this craziness. But I'm I'm really I love scary movies. I it's hard to find. There just there was just a preview for something. Um, the guys that made Get Out. Mm-hmm. There's a new one coming. Did you watch Get Out? The movie. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. They're uh, the same guy that made Get Out. Is they just came out with? I just saw the commercial last night with a new one, and it looks so good. Nice. Uh, what is something you think everyone should do at least once in their lives? Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, all these questions. There's so many things. Maybe have a threesome. Hmm. <laughs> is there any social customs that you wish would just disappear any social customs yeah oh. mm. I mean the fact that people I don't know if this is considered but the fact that people look at each other that are different colors like they Everybody's the same. Like, I don't look at people as a color. It's just, I wish everybody was just considered the same. Yeah. That's, I guess, the only thing that makes me mad. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Should be changed. Yeah. (laughs) What do you think about this whole immigration wall thing with Trump? Do you think that he's crazy? Yes. (laughs) I said, well, I think it's just a distraction to, you know, cover up everything else that's happening. You don't think that we should get rid of birthright citizens? Like, no. that's a good. <laughs> that's a good. Oh yeah, I just think he's crazy. It's just like, yeah. I don't think Portland likes him there. It's from the. Uh, Doesn't like what? Trump at all, based no, on the parades and stuff. No. Would you ever have kids? No, I love kids, but I don't want my own. Mm. I love. 
my friend has a kid and he's fun to hang out with, but I don't want my own kids. I have a, some aunts and uncles that don't have kids and they get to travel and they're so happy and the people that had kids aren't happy. So Yeah. But you could be happy and have kids if you try. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you sing at all? Have you ever played music? No, I'm a bad singer. I mean, I'm not a bad singer, but... I've done karaoke a few times and I'm kind of like, don't like it. Mm. Have and you ever done stripper karaoke? No, I haven't done that. <laughs> I, how do you play that? Is it uh, just, or is it just, you go to a strip club? I, yeah, you go to a strip club and the stripper just like dances while you sing the song. Oh, okay, so, that's yeah. right. And you have to wait on a line for like three hours or something. So it's not really <laughs> worth it. No, I haven't done that. And then I play guitar for a little bit when I was like, like younger, but really? I... I'm not very musical savvy. I have a, few, a lot of friends that, well, a decent amount of friends that play music in Portland, but mm-hmm. I'll go to their shows and stuff, but I like to watch and listen more than perform. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you said that you were shooting most of the adult work in San Francisco? Well, no, I just got back from San Francisco. I shoot in Seattle. I mean, I'll go wherever, but I've been sticking to Seattle uh, San Francisco. I just went to Phoenix and did a a glory hole shoot there. How was that? It was fun. I love blowjobs, so that was fun. Um, it's called Glory Hole Swallows, and then uh, they do a lot of like glory hole stuff there, like multiple multiple blowjob stuff there. How did you get the guys for that? Well, it's a website, so the 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 guy I just contacted. I contacted the guy on the website and he like has guys that he how many like guys has. were there i think last time i did like 18 it was sw- <laughs> it wasn't just swallowed i swallowed okay. it yeah what was the title of that called? glory hole swallows oh yeah that would make sense yeah <laughs> <laughs> So you actually like the shoots where you you don't even care if you're getting pleasure. No, I love, I kind of prefer like just the blowjob stuff. Why is that? <laughs> just because it's more like, it's more like less intimate and it's more like yeah, you're doing Yeah, probably that's kind of the thing, but I really enjoy blowjobs anyways, so. Yeah. So maybe blowjobs yeah. aren't even that sexual fear, it's just something you like to do. It's well, like, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I mean... I think I enjoy giving blowjobs. It's it's still sexual because yeah. like I still really enjoy it. True, but you can separate it. From but like, like I enjoy blowjobs more than sex sometimes. It's I don't know how to explain it. That's not a usual occurrence. I don't. Think. No, my boyfriend's like he's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I'd rather give blowjobs than have sex sometimes. And he's like, what? I don't know. I think most guys would like that, but no. well, he does. He but I'm <laughs> he wants. He just found to it unusual. Too. Yeah. <laughs> But some yeah. So I, you would be fine with just blowjobs though, like even sure. in a relationship. Not all the time. Yeah, but, but like maybe, you'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The majority of the time, if you were just giving blowjobs. Yeah, and like I don't even care if I have orgasm when I'm having sex. It's weird. It's like, oh yeah, it's weird. I don't know. <laughs> sometimes it's just easier to have to masturbate, or sometimes I just. Like to give blowjobs and don't, yeah, it's weird. It depends what kind of mood I'm, I'm in. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, from what I gather, it's like you just like having sex with your boyfriend and the other stuff, it's like you enjoy that with, with anyone. Yeah, just, it really depends. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, have, <laughs> have you ever done, uh, I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question are you going to ask me? Uh, it's something to do with glasses, but like, when did you first start wearing glasses? <laughs> oh, uh, I think I was like in middle school or something. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think I wore them all the time. Have you ever done porn involving glasses? I have worn glasses. People, because they see me wear my glasses that I actually have to wear, and they're like, oh, do you want to just wear those? Did they give you like these, did they ever give you like these black rim hipster type they glasses? They have, yeah. That weren't prescription, you know. <laughs> what are some of your favorite outfits that you like to wear? Like, maybe on set. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I probably have. I have so many outfits. I have like over a hundred like laundry outfits. Yeah. I don't know if I have. I like baby doll stuff, like baby dolls, which are like 
you know, the bra and they have like a little kind of like sheer bottom part. Mm-hmm. But why, why do you think that fashion has changed so like all women are wearing leggings more now? Why do you think that, that occurred? Because they're so comfortable. That's true. I well, almost wore leggings today. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to wear jeans because it's a little bit more. I don't know. But happened? leggings are so comfortable. They are and they look great. They do. Yeah. And it's just like, I think the women know that like they know their butts look good in them. Yeah. So. It's weird that it went from spandex and then there's this black hole and then it came back. <laughs> it's like, what happened? Oh, really? yeah, you're right. And I it took so long. That. <laughs> but yeah, they're so comfortable. Like, yeah, jeans aren't the most comfortable. But yeah, if I go out to like dinner, I'll wear. I used to wear leggings to dinner, but I'm like, you know, it's a little bit more uh, nicer if you wear jeans. <laughs> mm-hmm. But leggings are nice for sure. Do you have your own website? Would you start one? Um, I have my own clip store, which I really haven't updated too often. I'm not, I might start shooting some more, uh, porn like myself, mm-hmm. but I'm really just like so busy doing the traveling and shooting with people. Would you do the custom videos for people? Yeah. I have people that actually do just contact me to do customs. Yeah. And I'll do those cause it's like a set thing they want. So I don't have to like come up with, I'm like so bad at coming up with like that's the thing I'm just bad at coming up with the content to shoot like for the yeah. clip store. But I've been thinking like maybe doing like a blowjob series or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, how would you find people that would want this kind of thing? Uh, I don't even know. Cause it's like, there's so many, there's not that many ways to do it anymore. I mean, maybe fet life. Yeah. Might be a good way to do it. Probably. Yeah. Fet life. Cause they're, they're the only ones that, really don't care what you talk about or go how, on there. How do you think that mm-hmm. uh, Craigslist ended up closing down their personal section and then FetLife was pretty much untouched? How do you think that happened? FetLife, yeah. It's, well, FetLife and there's a, another website called Sexy Jobs. So they took down Craigslist. Backpage was gone for a lot. I'm surprised. I mean, I don't know how they do, like how they decide what is taken down and what isn't. I guess maybe because Craigslist is kind of like just random people. It's supposed to be not a dating site. It's supposed to be like yeah. Facebook. So yeah, maybe that's yeah, why. Yeah. So. I do not know. But it's interesting, yeah. I mean, a lot of girls, I think that... I know a girl that um, started modeling and she was doing some adult work, some stuff I referred her to, but there's like, I, there's like no way to really find work for people that are starting unless they have an agent. So... I just, I know so many people that I just really don't even have to look as much yeah. anymore, you know. <laughs> Are you a dark coffee bean Northwest kind of girl? Like, do I drink coffee? Do you like dark Starbucks type coffee? No, I don't drink coffee. I drink tea. <laughs> nice. What's your favorite kinds? Um, well, I mean, I'll drink green tea like during the day and I much, I love matcha lattes are pretty good. Chai lattes are good. And then I'll drink chamomile tea like at night or something. You ever have white tea? No. It's supposed to be like white cancer, tea? anti-cancer. And it's, it's it's basically like the whole leaf, like the whole tea leaf. And huh, you can only you... get it from Japan. Like That's crazy. Never even, is it like a flavor? Um, yeah, there's some flavor. You can find it a lot of the times in the, the colder teas that you buy, like Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Hmm. But I've bought it on eBay, like a killer. Like you can buy it in bulk and have <laughs> oh it shipped God. to you. But yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to a red robe tea right up the street downtown? Red robe? Red robe. No. It's like a traditional, they, they have a whole it. traditional tea set up. It's like $6 for a little shot glass of tea, basically. I've never even seen it. What, is, is it street, what street is it on? Um, I'll have to look it up. Okay. Basically right by Floyd's, uh, or right right by where I do the podcast, basically. Uh, oh, okay. You, you walk down the street right in front of the building, and it's like straight down. Oh. But kind of by the Chinese garden a little bit. It's not oh, far weird. at all, yeah. I've never seen it. I'm I'm surprised. I'll have to check it out though. But six dollars on us. You probably never walk down that way. It's 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 <laughs> it's by the car- corner of the Chinese Garden where there's like a lot of homeless people. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I come down here sometimes, but mm. not that. It's it's a weird spot over here. It is. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. All right. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the podcast. You're welcome. It was nice to come on, and this is my first podcast. It was fun. Yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll check back, see how your career is going in a year or so. Right, 
sounds good. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.